What if I told you that a single solar panel could power a TV, a fan, and lights, keeping your evenings comfortable and entertaining, all without relying on the grid? Sounds amazing, right? But here's the catch. Getting it right isn't as simple as it seems. Miscalculating the number of panels or the energy demand could leave you in the dark, literally. And let's not even get started on cloudy days or inefficient setups that drain batteries faster than they charge. In this video, we're breaking it all down. How much energy does a TV, a fan, and some lights really need? How many panels are enough to keep them running smoothly? And can you rely on this setup to go completely off-grid? Stick with me until the end and you'll know exactly how to design a solar system to power your essentials without a hitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Before diving into the numbers, let's talk about the basics. To figure out how many solar panels you'll need, the first step is understanding the power consumption of each device. Different TVs, fans, and light bulbs have wildly different energy requirements, so a one-size-fits-all answer won't cut it. Let's take an average setup as an example. A 100-watt LED TV, a 50-watt ceiling fan, and three 10-watt LED light bulbs. Combined, these use around 180 watts per hour when running together. But here's where it gets tricky. You need to account for how many hours each device runs daily. If the TV is on for five hours, the fan runs for eight and the lights are used for four, the energy demand adds up quickly. Multiply each device's power consumption by the hours it runs, and you'll get the total daily energy requirement. In this case, it's around 1,180 watt hours. That's the magic number you'll use to determine how many solar panels you'll need. Now that we know the daily energy demand, let's talk about solar panels. The output of a solar panel depends on its wattage and the number of peak sunlight hours in your location. A standard 200-watt solar panel produces 200 watts of power per hour in ideal conditions. If you live in a sunny location with five peak sunlight hours daily, that panel can generate 1,000 watt hours per day. But remember, no solar system operates at 100% efficiency. Dust, shading, and energy conversion losses can reduce performance by 10% to 20%. So, a 200-watt panel might realistically produce only 800 to 900 watt-hours daily. With this in mind, you'd need at least two 200-watt panels to meet the 1,180-watt-hour daily demand of your TV, fan, and lights. And here's where it gets interesting. What happens if you live in a cloudy area or have fewer sunlight hours? The fewer hours of peak sunlight you get, the more panels you'll need to generate the same amount of energy. For example, in a location with just three peak sunlight hours, you'd need four 200-watt panels to power the same devices. Of course, solar panels only work when the sun is shining. If you want to power your TV, fan, and lights at night, you'll need a battery storage system. The size of the battery depends on your total daily energy use. In this example, a 12-volt battery with a capacity of 100 ampere hours can store around 1,200 watt-hours of energy, which is enough to power these devices overnight. But here's the thing. Batteries aren't 100% efficient either. Some energy is lost during charging and discharging, so you might need a slightly larger battery to ensure uninterrupted power. A 150 ampere hours battery would give you more breathing room, especially on days when the panels generate less energy than expected. And let's not forget about the charge controller, the device that regulates the energy flow between the solar panels and the battery. Using an MPPT, maximum power point tracking, controller can significantly improve efficiency allowing you to get the most out of your solar panels. Let's put this all together with a real-life scenario. Imagine you're setting up a small off-grid system in a sunny location with six peak sunlight hours daily. You're powering a 100-watt TV, a 50-watt fan, and three 10-watt lights for a total of 1,180 watt-hours per day. 
With two 200-watt solar panels generating around 1,600 watt-hours daily, you'd have enough power to run your devices and even some extra energy to store in your battery. Now, consider a different scenario. A cloudy location with just three peak sunlight hours. The same setup would require at least four 200-watt panels to generate the necessary energy. If space or budget is a concern, you could reduce usage by switching to an energy-efficient TV or using the fan and lights for fewer hours. These adjustments highlight the flexibility of solar systems. By carefully calculating your energy needs and factoring in your location, you can create a setup that works perfectly for your specific situation. One of the biggest concerns people have when setting up a solar system is cost. Solar panels, batteries, and other components can add up quickly, so it's important to optimize your system for both performance and affordability. Start by investing in energy-efficient devices. LED lights, for example, use far less power than incandescent bulbs, and energy-efficient TVs can cut your consumption by 30% or more. Next, consider the long-term savings of a properly designed system while adding an extra solar panel or a larger battery might seem expensive up front, it can save you money over time by reducing energy losses and extending the life of your equipment. Regular maintenance is also key to keeping your system running smoothly. Clean your panels to ensure maximum sunlight absorption and check your connections and battery health periodically. These small steps can make a big difference in overall efficiency. So. How many solar panels does it take to power a TV, a fan, and some lights? The answer depends on your energy usage, location, and system efficiency. But with the right calculations and components, you can create a reliable setup that's both cost-effective and energy-efficient. Whether you're looking to go completely off-grid or just supplement your existing power supply, solar energy offers incredible flexibility and savings. If you're planning your own solar project or have questions about setting up a system, drop a comment below. I'd love to help. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with anyone who's curious about solar energy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.